Reaching the Filipinos throughout the world. Bringing closer to home. Your source of pure OPM hits. Online, www.v81radio.com. From California and the Philippines. This is V81 Radio. All hits. All enjoy. The views and opinions expressed by the host do not necessarily reflect the official policy or position of those from V81 Radio Management. Furthermore, the views and opinions expressed by the guests and the listeners of this program do not necessarily reflect the official policy or position of the host, the co-anchor, its staff, and the management of V81 Radio. You're listening to the Philippines All Hits, All Pinoy Internet Radio Station here in California. Dito po sa ating pong, uh, remote studio in San Francisco. This is V81 Radio. We are heard uh, live on streaming via, uh, via our website, www.v81radio.com o di kaya sa ating mobile app uh, na kung saan po ay pwede nyo pong uh, i-download for free. Uh, just go to the App Store or the Google Play Store. Isang magandang umaga Magandang araw po sa inyong lahat And this is again your US Visa Law News and FAQs And it's a brand new month Attorney, nako, April na po Napakabilis ng oh, panahon yeah. mm-hmm. Yesterday was April Fool's Day, di ba? Oh, <laughs> na- nabig na ba ka ba, Attorney? <laughs> Ay, hindi naman Ay, hindi naman <laughs> Buti na lang. Oh, buti na lang. Ayan. So, uh, ano na, ano? sa Pilipinas, nako, eh, uh, mainit na doon. It's summer uh, in the Philippines. Mm-hmm. And uh, palapit na ng palapit ang uh, eleksyon din sa Pilipinas. Kaya kaabang-abang din yun. Yeah, that's true. Alright. Yeah. By the way, mm. yesterday, ano, um, April 1 was also significant in immigration. Dahil... Um, Yesterday was the day when H-1B visas for the fiscal year 2017 mm. were um, received. Um, so, kahapon nag-umpisa yung pag-accept ng H-1B visa applications. Uh-huh. And, you know, uh, so yan ang ating news ngayon. Uh, well, I'm sure it is expected na yung mga visas ay mawa- mauubos. In mm-hmm. just a few days, mm-hmm. and usually the technology companies are the ones lining up for yeah, yeah, uh, the H-1B visa. Mm-hmm. You know? uh, for the benefit ng uh, ating mga taga pakinig, ano, uh, uh, H-1B visa, ano pong visa, classing visa po yan, attorney, para dun sa mga hindi po. Ah, kailangan. okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's true. Okay. So, yung H-1B visa ay um, yun yung working visa para sa mga specialty occupations. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. Ang definition ng specialty occupation ay yung mga klaseng trabaho na nagre-require ng bachelor's degree mm-hmm. or higher. Mm-hmm. Ganon. So, may limit to 65,000 visas for professionals entering the United States. And that's available, uh, that, that quota is for the entire world. And so, 
well, maraming um, nangangailangan ng uh, foreign workers dito mm-hmm. sa Amerika. Mm-hmm. And super dami rin ang nag apply Kasi mm-hmm. yung mga employers nangangailangan ng, you know, workers. Um, because that only emphasizes then how important um, the work of immigrants are for American competitiveness. Okay. Ayan. So, imagine ano, 65,000 visas available lang and then, uh, syempre, ang uh, ano dyan is uh, uh, buong mundo ang, uh, ang uh, pwedeng mag-qualify dyan. So, ayan. So, yeah. And uh, that news is totoo, ah, hindi po yan uh, part ng April Fool's Day. <laughs> That's true. It's a true, it's oh, a, uh, oh, oh. yeah, totoo, totoong news yan. It may be a lucky day. Actually, it may be a lucky day for for a lot. Actually, for the 65,000 yeah, who will be yeah. selected, mm-hmm. that would be a lucky day for them. All right. Okay. So, this week, uh, I'm sure ay uh, punong-puno na naman tayo ng uh, uh, mga impormasyon dahil uh, ang ating pag-uusapan, uh, it's all about uh, removal proceedings. Okay? Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. But before anything else, you know, I'd like to uh, say kudos to... the good work of some um, students Oy. from Dartmouth College. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's all about, um, well, they've been working hard for the past two years to uh, make sure that the Library of Congress will stop using the words illegal oh, okay. and alien mm-hmm. as subject headings for literature about immigration. Mm-hmm. So um, I think that's a very um, good way of showing respect to um, immigrants. So, Um, the proper word to use would be unauthorized or non-citizen, which is referring to undocumented immigrants. Oh, okay. And um, you know that's that shows respect tama, for humanity. Tama. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. hindi na po gagamitin yung uh, term or word na illegal and alien, but instead uh, they would use. Uh, unauthorized or non-citizen addressing those uh, uh, people na kung saan ay nabilong po sa sa ganong category. Yeah, yung mga tinatawag na undocumented, undocumented. immigrants. Yeah. Okay, uh-huh. good news nga talaga yan. And ano ko bago natin makalimutan na, no? uh, allow me to read, attorney, we have some uh, emails here na mm-hmm. pinadala po ng ating mga tagapakinig din. And um, this was sent through V81 Radio's email uh, doon sa request at v81radio.com. Uh, meron tayong uh, mga feedback dito po sa ating uh, programa. No? Allow me to read uh, an email from Jen Detagle of Mandaluyong City in the Philippines. Sabi niya po, Hi po, Attorney Cross. We're, avid, we're an avid listeners dito po sa Pilipinas. Hello po sa mga wow. Detagli family sa Rizal and also sa mga kamag-anak daw niya dyan sa Austin, Texas. Sina Romel, Cynthia, and Bing, de la, Bing Detagli Cervantes. Okay, so si Jen Detagli wow. ng Madaluyong. Thank you, Jen. And thank you. And um, hello to the Detagli family. Ayan. Another one from Hong Kong. Uh, eto, uh, uh, ano tayo? Uh, last, uh, in the few, few episodes, may Singapore tayo ngayon, Hong Kong naman. Uh, si wow. Maren uh, Kamangyan Sabi niya dito Salamat po sa libreng impormasyon Na ibinabahagi niyo po sa inyong programa uh, Pangalawang beses ko lamang po Pangalawang beses ko pa lang lamang po Napapakinggan ang inyong program At pututoy ako makikinig dito sa Hong Kong More power attorney Madrid Crossed Yun. Thank you so much Maren And um, yes please spread the news And um, I'd be more than happy to answer questions So please if you have any questions Just send them in to V81 Radio. Ayun. Uh, last one from Orlando, Florida. Uh, si Sheila and Beroya. Sabi ni Sheila, uh, more interesting and more informative discussions to come po, Attorney Cross. Kudos to your staff for coming up with a very informative and comprehensive radio program. Ipagpatuloy niyo lang po yan at patuloy din kaming uh, makikinig at tatanklikin ang inyong programa. Thank you. Ayun. Uh- Thank you so much. And of course, we care about um, immigrants and ating mga OFWs. So, uh, we're here to help. And um, just please communicate with us. Tama, Thank no? you. But, uh, napaka ano ito, attorney, dahil uh, kumbaga it's a, it's a sign or it's a uh, 
uh, para malaman natin ano kung gaano ta, gaano ka, ka effective ang programang ito sa mga mm-hmm. listeners natin ano so uh, thank you for 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 your feedback for your comments so keep those comments coming and then questions coming uh, you can send uh, mm-hmm. to attorney uh, Madrid Cross yeah. uh, email para po sa mga tanong niyo and uh, any feedback or comments are welcome Yeah, so nakakataba naman ng puso ang mga feedbacks ninyo, pero just be assured na galing din sa puso ang ating mga advice. Yun, yan. Yeah. Okay, All right. so um, let's go to the topic uh, this uh, episode. Uh, just like kanina, no, uh, I was mentioning mm-hmm. about uh, removal proceedings. So mm-hmm. uh, when you say removal proceedings, ano po ang ibig sabihin po nito, attorney? Okay, ang ibig sabihin ng removal proceedings ay um, deportation proceedings actually. Noong 1996, nung nagbago, nung nagkaroon ng overhaul ang immigration law, eh, pinalitan nila yung word deportation to removal. So if you hear removal proceedings, that means being in deportation proceedings. Mm-hmm. Now, don't have, don't get this confused with removal of condition kasi yun yung condition on one's permanent resident status. Mm-hmm. So, kailangan i-remove yung condition para maging permanent yung um, resident status. So, that's different altogether. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, uh, instead of deportation, pa- parang ano pala to, no? Parang kanina yung news mo about uh, illegal uh, aliens at pinilitan na siya into mm-hmm. unauthorized. And, ano, so, uh, mm-hmm. way back 19, ano yun? Uh, taon? 1990- 1996. 1996. September 30, 1996. Mm, okay, so instead of uh, yeah. deportation, so ginawa nilang removal. Ano? Okay, so mm-hmm. pag sinabi nyo pong uh, removal proceedings or or kung ikaw ay, uh, uh, ano tawag doon, uh, may grounds of removal, uh, ano po ang, mm-hmm. ano pong cost nito? Kung, kung baga, bakit, ano, ano pong cost, anong, anong, anong pwedeng nagawa mo kung bakit ka mm-hmm. merong grounds for removal. Ah, okay. Uh, mahaba yung ano, ha, listahan ng, <laughs> <laughs> ng Immigration and Nationality Act. Okay. <laughs> But let me just, um, ano, um, of course, yung, ang, I mean, there's a limited number of um, resources in terms of personnel, in terms of funds to mm-hmm. enforce uh, immigration laws. So, meron din silang tinatawag na totem pole of what is more important, what is given priorities. So, eh, um, yung ground for deportation could or removal could span um, areas from overstaying one's visa, mm-hmm. um, unauthorized employment, um, meron din yung fraud or misrepresentation, or just merely entering without inspection, or yung mas malala yung nagkakaroon ng crime ayun, um, ayun. yeah yung um, crimes involving moral turpitude meaning to say those are the types of crimes na yung tipong nagagawa yon dahil because one's uh, morality is not um, ano is so low parang ganon mm-hmm. um, for example yung mga crimes ng pag pagnanakaw yung mga mm-hmm. ganon mm-hmm. those are considered crimes involving moral turpitude mm-hmm. um, so um, I mean there could be aggravated felonies or yung mga more yung mga talagang napaka grabbing crimes like crimes that are uh, threatening national security or mm-hmm. including murder yun yung mga tipong class X felonies na, yung mga ganun ba. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, now, ang, it's, it's just unfortunate na ang, ano, ang uh, definition ng aggravated felony under immigration um, uh, definition is, ano, mas, mas grabe kaysa yung real sense of the word aggravated felony. So, pagka, ang crime pag na preso ng more than one year mm-hmm. uh, that's a felony and ano that's considered um, it aggravated felony kung um, lampas doon ng ang prison sentence yung mga ganun ta oh. so uh, maraming mga iba't ibang classing reasons for being placed in removal proceedings like even voting unauthorized voting 
Um, kasi yun yung tinatawag na unauthorized uh, claim of U.S. citizenship. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, that's another ground for being placed in removal proceedings. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, I, I mean, I think I've I know, I've represented people in different kinds of situations. So, kahit na ang isang tao ay permanent resident na, pwede pa rin silang nailagay sa mm. removal proceedings. Okay. For example, nagkaroon ng mga criminal uh, conviction. Yung ganun ba? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, pero, uh, ang ano, uh, being placed in deportation proceedings is not the end of the world, no? Kasi, um, I mean, yung common concept ng mga tao pag sila ay nailagay sa deportation or when they hear the word deportation or removal, ang nasa isip ka agad eh, you know, pupusasan, I mean, mm-hmm. ICE will go to their homes, mm-hmm. they'll take them early in the morning, nakaposas, ilalagay sa preso at ilalagay mm-hmm. na sa plane, mm-hmm. and then tarating sa, sa, sa bansa, Um, na nakaposa. Na nakaposa. So, actually, oh, yung pa sana ang okay. tatanong ko, no? But, uh, so, so hindi pala, kung, kung naka-place ka sa ganong, sa, sa grounds for, for removal, uh, mm-hmm. karamihan yun po ang na-imagine, eh. Di ba? Kunyari po, kung mm-hmm. ka, yeah. and then, uh, yun, ipapadala ka na lang, isasakay sa plane, pag-uwi mo, nakaposas ka, yun, para talagang kriminal lang dating mo, no? So, ano, yeah. is, is, ganun ba ang mangyayari or hindi, hindi, hindi ganun yun? No, hindi ganun yun. So, ano, um, ang mga immigrants, those who are placed in removal proceedings are still entitled to due process. Mm-hmm. And they're, they will be heard by a judge and they will be given a chance to um, seek relief from removal. Mm-hmm. Um, yung pinatawag na para ma-avoid yung deportation or para hindi mapauwi dahil merong dahilan um, para hindi sila mapauwi. Mm-hmm, Ganon. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, so, pagdating mm-hmm. sa immigration court, uh, well, what really transpires sa immigration court? Well, unang-una, uh, it will be, a, well, first of all, magkakaroon ng tinatawag the master calendar hearing, wherein um, the immigrants will be asked to, uh, well, on beha- with the lawyer if they're represented, mm-hmm. they will be um, made answerable to the allegations mm-hmm. um, whether to admit or deny mm-hmm. um, yung mga allegations doon and whether and the judge will make a determination whether or not the person is deportable mm-hmm. now kung deportable yung uh, isang alien eh, ay huwag na natin gagamitin yung word na alien yeah. <laughs> Un- unauthorized <laughs> or, uh, unauthorized uh, individual uh, uh, uh-huh. or non-citizen mm-hmm. eh, ano, pag nailagay doon uh, well, mabibigyan pa rin ng pagkakataon para humingi ng um, paraan para makapag-stay dito well, of course, it will be a balancing act no? mm-hmm. uh, whether or not they're eligible and A lot of these um, types of applications and eh, tinatawag na discretionary. Mm-hmm. Ibig sabihin, the judge will um, do a balancing act. Uh, what are the mm-hmm, mm-hmm. things or what are the pros and cons? Yun yung yeah, nila, yeah. what are the positive equities, what are the negative equities? And then do a balancing act. Mm-hmm, um, mm-hmm. Of course, it's very important na kung may uh, family dito, lalo na kung may mga maliliit na mga anak at mag uh, you know it will cause hardship mm-hmm. sa family ano oh, oh. family oh. Uh, yeah so yeah especially kung may mga um, uh, anak na US citizens mm-hmm. na you know they're really they it would be very difficult for them to uh, adjust sa ibang bansa mm-hmm. or lalo na kung may mga situations of illness Mm-hmm. Para dito yung kanilang mga doktor. Or, uh, sig- like those. or siguro pwede mm-hmm. din na uh, uh, malilit pa mga anak and then siya, siya lang trabaho parang gano'n. So, so mm-hmm. uh, you know, can the, the judge uh, consider that? Uh, yun nga, sinabi mo, balancing yeah. uh, ano ng, ng judge. Ano? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yung balancing act. act. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. So, um, remember that last time uh, napag-usapan natin yung yung mga pumapasok using a different name. Different name, yeah. Um, katagal na silang nakatira dito. 
Tapos, um, my families na, they're very well entrenched into the United States. They mm-hmm. consider this their home. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And, um, yun, uh, kahit na medyo ma bigat din yung, you know, using the fraudulent documents or f- different names. Mm-hmm. And, syempre, those are, ano, medyo mabigat din na situations. But, nagagawan pa rin ng paraan. Mm-hmm. Uh, by showing to the judge yung hardship or um, uh, things like those and kung may mga maiiwanan na mga U.S. citizen na kamag-anak. Mm-hmm. Okay, so, attorney, example, ano, kunyari, uh, yun nga, na ang favor, ang, ang decision ng judge is, uh, sige, so, so, nagkaroon ng, kung baga, ano tawag doon, parang naabselto siya, parang gano'n, ano? Mm-hmm. Let's say, yeah. anong mangyayari pagkatapos? Uh, he's a free man? Or oh. ano, ano bang, anong, anong yeah. magiging ano yun? Uh, magkakaroon ba ng madung, madudungi sa ba yung record niya? Or, you know, uh, ano, okay. ano mangyayari? Uh-oh. So, no, he, uh, well, it turns out, you, you said it nicely, um, he, uh, the person becomes a free man, yeah. mm-hmm. na ano, uh, bagong, it's like, na wala na yung removal proceedings yeah. mm-hmm. na yun na terminate na pag nag-grant yung uh, relief na hinihingi um, ano um, magiging permanent resident kung yun yung inapplyan yung adjustment of status mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. Uh, or pwedeng i-terminate yung case and then i-pursue yung adjustment of status sa USCIS mm-hmm. so ibig sabihin wala nang removal proceedings um ipo-pursue na lang yung adjustment of status as if walang walang nangyari walang removal proceedings mm, okay um that happens usually pag may mga may US citizen spouse for yeah, instance yeah, yeah. and mm. tunay naman yung kasal and mm-hmm. uh, talagang mapapatunayan na um there's a relationship mm-hmm. so uh in that case uh, we usually request for termination of um, the removal, removal proceedings, proceedings. Mm-hmm. Uh-oh. okay yeah kasi mm-hmm. gusto rin nilang ma-remove yung i mat ma- terminate yung removal proceedings kasi uh, napakaraming na ilalagay sa de- deportation process or removal process and the uh, dockets of the courts are clogged na mm-hmm. that's why may mga iba na yung mga, yung mga hearings nila eh na ilalagay sa November 2019, mm-hmm. na ganyan, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. na parang, parang napakatagal hintayin yun, ano, na sa 2019 pa lang um, i-consider yung case nila. Yung ganun ba? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So, oh, okay. so, may paraan para para ma-terminate yung case na yun, um, that's the best way. Mm-hmm. Um, then, apply for the immigration benefit in uh the administrative uh, body the USCIS okay so uh eto naman uh paano nila uh, ma-avoid uh, na sila hindi ma-deport yun ang yun ang malaking ah, okay. tanong eh <laughs> uh, ano bang mga course, pwede kong ano, gawin ano ba yeah, I should I be na- careful yan oo lagi nating um sinasabi sa ano no mag-uumpisa yan sa Pagdating dito, um, iingatan yung status. Mm-hmm. Ganon. And make sure, for example, kung pumasok dito as tourist, um, huwag palalampasin yung status. Uh, huwag lalampas dun sa authorized stay. Either umuwi or gumawa ng uh, mag-apply ng extension or mag-apply ng change of status kung magkakaroon man ng paraan para mag-change ng status. Mm-hmm. Ganon yan. Mm-hmm. So, uh, yung well kung permanent residents naman em eh, iingatan na wag ma-arrest iingatan na wag gagawa ng masama mm-hmm. para hindi hindi magkaroon ng criminal record which could serve as a basis for being placed in removal proceedings um alam naman natin na yung mga iba they are placed in um in in car- they are incarcerated mm-hmm. and then after matapos yung sentence nila iniisip nila na you know libre na sila na nakalaya na sila ganoon they they're not they don't realize na naghihintay ang immigration para naman i-process for um for removal proceedings mm, in general okay. mm-hmm, mm-hmm. so like for example meron akong uh, tinulungan noon na ano 
talagang ganun, similar situation. Mm-hmm. Um, ma- ma- um, nag-ano siya, na ilagay siya sa preso dahil because of some false, ano rin, uh, false allegations, pero meron pa rin isang, you know, ground that he was convicted of. Mm-hmm. And uh, then, after that, immigration was waiting. Uh, I mean, he was placed sa uh, uh, incarceration. immigration hold na tinatawag. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And then, eventually, he was still conti- he still continued to be placed in detention habang naghihintay ng, ano, ng uh, immigration court proceedings. Mm, okay, okay. So, so mm, siguro, yeah. bottom line is, uh, uh, wag uh, lumabag sa batas, parang gano'n, and then wag gumawa ng, oh, yeah. you, know, you know, crime, siguro ano naman yan, eh, it, it, common sense naman yan, siguro, siyempre, pag gumawa ka ng karumaldumal na ano dyan, eh, di talagang, oh. uh, ano, di ba? So, siguro, uh, yun, ano, uh, buti na, 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 ano nyo, na mention nyo yung mga iba't ibang, yung nga, yung, yung minsan kinatatakutan nila is, uh, Uh, mm-hmm. natutulog sila bigla na may kakatok tapos you know, pupusasan and then ganun nga without you know any he- hearing the side naman ng uh, ng hinuhuli o ng ng, ng individual, individual na yan so uh, there, there's a proceeding pala no? so the, uh, mag- at yan. ano um, wag, uh, wag I, I mean uh, kailangan kumuha ng lawyer din para yes, uh, ano kasi mm-hmm. syempre iba rin yung yung ano ng lawyer uh, I mean we can find ways to be able to help mm-hmm. um get on all so like for example I forgot to mention about voluntary departure may oh, mga okay. ibang situations na talagang walang walang basis for staying here and uh, the only thing that can be done or the relief from deportation is yung tinatawag the voluntary departure so um uh, they will pay for their own ano for their own plane fares mm-hmm. and um ano as, as long as they meet certain conditions like wala silang crime uh, things like those para uh, they can leave freely um kung merong voluntary or the uh, voluntary departure order at um the per- and the person honored that voluntary departure order and you know they're not considered deported So, ibig sabihin, pag umuwi sila, makakabalik pa rin sila dito. Mm. Pero, yun na nga, they just have to consider certain things like yung tinatawag na three-year or ten-year bar. Yeah, ten-year That's bar another yeah. thing altogether na napag-usapan na natin last week. Mm-hmm. Um, Tama. So, maraming mga pasikot-sikot. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> And this time, mga kaibigan, ay andito na ho tayo sa ating Q&A portion kung saan po ay uh, we entertain uh, callers. Uh, na maaring magtanong and then of course ay bibigyan po ng advice ni attorney Maricar Madrid Cross. Attorney, meron tayong caller and uh, oh. she is calling all the way from Dallas, Texas. Hoy, wow. uh, meron tayong uh, kababayan dyan na nakikinig. Now let's have her on the line. Nancy, hello po. Kamusta? Hi, kamusta rin po. Hi Nancy, how are you? Welcome to the show. And uh, I heard that you're from Dallas, Texas, right? Yes, correct, attorney. Okay. So, ano ang iyong tanong? So, bali po, um, uh, pumasok po ako dito as K-1 visa. So, naka-conditional green card status po ako. And then, um, later on po, hindi kami, hindi masyadong nag-work out yung uh, relationship ng husband ko. So, bali, Um, nahirapan po ako like all throughout like ever since I came here hindi po <laughs> the same yung pakitungo niya sa akin and there was even a point na sinaktan po niya ako and hindi po talaga siya emotionally involved sa relationship and hindi mm-hmm. din siya supportive at all to me so what I did was I just kept working and um para po umiwas na lang din po ako sa heartaches and like day-to-day basis na nakikita ko po siya, nasasaktan na ako and sometimes he can be physically um, abusive as well. So, mm-hmm. mag-live and caregiver na lang po ako and um, and also it came to a point na iniwanan niya po ako. So, nag-divorce kami. So, right mm-hmm. now, 
um, so after po nun, nag-apply po ako ng, since nung malapit na ma-expire yung, yung green card ko. So, nag-apply po ako in, ng, anong tawag doon? Yung removal ng, pers- ng, ano, ng green card. But since mahirap po, um, konti lang po yung sweldo ko. So, hindi po ako nag kumuha ng lawyer. Naghanap lang po ako ng tulong sa mga kaibigan ko paano po i-process yung papers. So, mm-hmm. bottom line po, um, na-deny po yung application ko. So, ano po kayang magandang gawin ko po? So, mm-hmm. po. Okay. Yeah, first of all, sorry to hear about your bad uh, relationship. But um, anyway, um, unang-una, I mean, uh, ano, may mga, just kung lang sabihin sa mga taong hindi nakaka-afford, hindi ba nakaka-afford ng services ng lawyer, may mga not-for-profit organizations din na accredited by the Board of Immigration Appeals. Um, and uh, through the organizations, eh, pwede makakuha ng, ng, ano, ng legal services na hindi masyadong mahal uh, or mabibigyan ng tamang payo. Kasi sinabi mo na Uh, humingi ka na lang ng tulong sa iyong mga kaibigan, di ba? So, uh, so, I mean, posibleng, you know, matutulungan ka nila ng konti, pero uh, hindi sila mga abogado. And so, it's important na kumuha ng advice magbula dun sa mga um, authorized na magbigay ng payo. Dahil, uh, they become authorized because alam nila yung uh, batas. Ganon. So, um, uh, Ibig mo sabihin, yung status mo as a permanent resident and not terminate dahil na-deny yung iyong application for removal of condition, di ba? Opo. So, ano pong uh, ganun- ibang, ibang way na, ma- na maayos ko po yung situation ko? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Now, gusto ko sana malaman, ikaw ba ay nabigyan na ng papers magmula sa Um, immigration court. Um, meron, ba, meron ka bang natanggap na... Pala. So, so nung na-deny po ako, pinadalan nila ako ng papers na mag-appear sa immigration court. So, mm-hmm. it's so stressful yeah. and they really don't know what to do. Okay, yeah. This gets even more complicated kasi nga, meron tinatawag the notice to appear. Ang notice to appear, yun yung umpisa ng tinatawag naman na removal proceedings. So, I I know the word removal is being used in different ways, no? Na yung removal of condition, yun yung tinatawa, y- that's the process where in kailangan i-remove yung condition ng isang two year, yung conditional green card. Iba naman yung tinatawag na removal proceedings kasi yun yung, ang tinutukoy doon is yung deportation process. So, um, kasi pag na-terminate ang uh, status as a Uh, resident of the United States, ang susunod na uh, pupuntahan nung situation mo is dun sa removal proceedings. So, you're in the deep, in in other words, you're in deportation context. Pero, posible pa rin um, makapag-apply ng relief from removal. Ang remo- uh, what I'm trying to say is, pwede ka pa rin masave from deportation. Um, first of all, yung um yung yung application for removal of condition at eh, pwedeng i-consider ng judge ng immigration court uh na kung ikaw ay makapagpakita ng proof na ang iyong kasal ay um it was entered into in good faith then um then you know uh the judge could consider uh you know allowing you to conti- to become a green card holder eventually, but remove your condition. So, uh, ikaw ba, ay, uh, marami ka bang mga documents to prove y- y- na y- y- you pay your marriage? Sorry. So, yun nga rin no. po yung problema. So, I came here and for some reason, hindi, hindi, hindi talaga ako masaya. So, wala kami mga pictures, tsaka sa finances, wala rin ako masyadong na ipapakita siya po yung namamahala ng lahat ng like financial aspect po. So, mm, okay. Nung ikaw ay sinaktan, tumawag ka ba sa polis? Hindi rin po kasi hindi ko alam ko ano yung 
what he's capable of doing baka i-deny niya and then ibabalik niya sa akin yung ano yung mm. sumpong ko or what mm. may mga kaibigan ka bang mga pag testify tungkol sa ano I mean nakita ba nakita ba nila yung uh, situation mo or you know uh, things like those may nasabihan po ako ng uh, nung pangyayari na yun but wala dito po yung person so ano po bang like mm. natum- natumawag mm-hmm. lang po ako hindi po physical yung ano hindi yeah, po nila yeah. ako nakita physically mm, okay so um I mean how long have you been here sa US? matagal na po like matagal na uh, opo okay. Okay, kasi may tinatawag din na VAWA cancellation of removal. And I think you might be able to avail of that. VAWA is Violence Against Women Act. And mm-hmm. uh, based on that, may tinatawag din na cancellation of removal. Uh, we're in, um, you should uh, be a resident of the United States for at least three years. And mm-hmm. um, obviously you show good moral character. And um, ado, that you, uh, your deportation will cause hardship upon you. Upon you, in the mm-hmm. So, um, so I guess that could be another way. Uh, that could be another avenue para ikaw ay ma, you know, ma, uh, ma, ma iwasan ng deportation. And so, um, ado, I I really suggest that you meet with a professional para. Um, ma ma tulungan ka kung paano ma-develop yung um, evidence to show na deserving ka ng uh, VAWA cancellation of removal. Now, the good thing is kung kung grant yung application mo, eh, you will end up becoming a um, resident of the United States. So that would be the happy ending kung sa kaliman. So ang pinapayo ko sa yo is kailangan makipag-cooperate ka in terms of you know developing the the body of evidence para ma ma I, I mean to support your application for VAWA cancellation of removal uh, so just make sure na you follow the advice of your lawyer okay pa. so so yung worry ko pa is yung hearing na sinatap nila so ano po ano po ba usually ang nangyayari sa 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 removal hearing? Like in well, the first na ako po. Oh, okay. So unang una, may tinatawag na notice to appear kasi katatanggap mo lang yung ano, di ba? You notice to appear. So the first mm-hmm. thing is um Kailangan meron din tawag so, yan. Um well, importanteng ano, meron kang lawyer. And of course, Again, there are not-for-profit organizations na uh, kung hindi ka makapag-afford ng... Ma, ma, I mean, if you cannot afford a lawyer. Um, may mga not-for-profit organizations na may program sila wherein pro bono lawyers would take uh, your case and um, then you can avail of the services of a lawyer as if nag-hire ka ng um, sarili mong abogado. Um, I think most of these organizations obviously have their own uh, criteria kung sibing matutulungan. Kasi, syempre, very limited yung resources nila. Usually, uh, these types of services are available for those who um, can show very little income. Get on. Okay. So, but, I mean, there are a lot of organizations out there, including Catholic Charities. Meron din silang I know they can help um they they can help clients. May mga mm-hmm. other organizations kahit na ano like um marami maraming organizations out there. They're available also sa sa they can, you can find them online. Mm-hmm. So, so okay, example for you Catholic charity seven. Mhm. Yeah. So um wag kang mawawala ng pag-asa. Um, Iwana kailangan lang, lang na ano, oo, yeah. iiwasan yung mga advice ng mga iba, yung mga tao hindi otorizado mag-advice and so, so mm-hmm. that's it 
Okay. Maraming salamat po. U.S. Visa Law News and FAQs with Attorney Maricar Madrid Cross on V81 Radio Connected ka na ba? Kung hindi pa, like us and follow us on our social media accounts Like us on Facebook, facebook.com slash V81 Radio Follow us on Twitter at V81 Radio At maging updated all day, every day V81 Radio, all hits, all Pinoy California's All Hits All Pinoy Internet Radio Station You're on V81 Radio U.S. Visa Law News and FAQs with Attorney Maricar Madrid Cross on V81 Radio And we're back mga kaibigan, mga kababayan dito sa ating U.S. Visa Law News and FAQ sa Japong napakabilis ng uh, oras uh, hindi natin namamalayan ano uh, yun talaga kapag uh, medyo nag-enjoy ka at saka syempre puno-puno po ng uh, mga importanteng mga information tungkol po sa ating pinag-uusapan today about removal proceedings na attorney bago bago natin i-end itong program uh, huling mga advices na lang po and uh, other stuff uh, regarding our uh, today's topic well first of all iingatin ng inyong mga status at yung mga permanent residents naman na eligible nang mag-apply ng naturalization ay kailangan mag-apply na kayo. That way, um, you know, you will not be placed in removal proceedings kung ano um, kung kayo ay citizens na. Mm-hmm. Um, so, this leads us actually to our next topic next Oy. week, which mm-hmm. is, um, yeah, naturalization. Important considerations regarding naturalization. So, makinig po kayo ulit next week. Yan. So, uh, narinig nyo na po, no? Uh, po, I hope uh, marami po kayong natutunan na naman ulit sa ating pong uh, episode today. And uh, abangan na naman po ulit next week. Yun nga ang sinabi ni attorney, uh, mga important condition or considerations uh, mm-hmm. when applying for citizenship. Okay, so yeah. mm, if you have any questions, eto na po ang inaabangan nila, no? <laughs> uh, email or call attorney uh, Maricar Madrid Cross. Paano po yan, attorney? Pakiulit nga po ulit ng ating email address and then the contact number. Oh, okay. Just please send your questions to questions at madridcross.com or um, you can call us at 888-466-4478. At uh, para madali niyong tandaan, that's 888-IMMIGRATE. Yun. Okay. So, uh, maraming salamat sa mga kababayan natin na, na sinamahan ho tayo uh, sa loob ng 30 minutes. Doon po sa mga, I know, marami pong nakikinig na, um, I don't know, kung nahihiya or medyo uh, hindi alam kung paano po uh, makipag-ugnayan sa amin. So, uh, mm-hmm. ayun po, we have Facebook, uh, yun nga, you have emails ni Attorney Maricar Madrid Cross or di kaya uh, yung number niya. So, there are so many ways on how to uh, reach us at saka para naman alam namin ano, na uh, how the program is affecting you kung, kung nakakatulong ba kami. Uh, uh, at syempre, uh, yung mga Uh, ibang mga tanong na gusto nyo sanang uh, itanong pero medyo hesitant kayo so uh, you know we would advise na huwag po kayo mahiya no? just feel free wala naman po itong bayad <laughs> na magpadala ng oh. tanong ano? yeah so uh, just just keep them uh, just, you just keep your questions coming ano? and uh, Attorney Maricar yeah. Madrid Cross will be glad to answer that alright so for V81 Radio marami salamat po ako po si Gio And for um, the Madrid Cross Law Group, this is Maricar Madrid Cross. Um, if it's Saturday, it's U.S. Visa Law News and FAQ. And tandaan, our inspiration is your success. Maraming salamat po.